All right, let's go over the uh, premium war bond Democratic detonation. Just kind of go through each of these real quick and see what they got with the newest one. Uh, we'll start here. Uh, this one's Groundbreaker. This is a medium armor. This is incorrectly displayed according to the devs. Should have uh, Engineer. So plus two grenades, plus 30% or reduced spread while crouched or prone is actually going to go on this. It looks pretty cool. It's got some cool like, you know, tubing and servos. I, I thought this would be 25% uh, flame resistance. That wasn't the case with all these fire things that they gave us. Uh, that is not the case, uh, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, you got the squat, which is, which is, you know, for the next hip hop album. I like it. Uh, the adjudicator. This is kind of the DMR in between, I should say. It's between the... Um, scout dmr and the penetrator i would say in terms of usefulness uh the scout penetrator having a larger magazine and firing off a lot more this kind of falls in between this is kind of getting trashed a little bit but i found that it's pretty good it, it performs well um especially when you're dealing with a lot of medium targets rather than the the big boys or the very small chaff this can do it uh the magazine you know you'll feel it 25 but uh, it, it's not bad i would put this in the good category a lot of people are like this is shit. i don't agree this is not working as intended it's got pen seven that's supposed to hit heavy armor and kind of burn right through it with the damage. As of right now, it's got really niche things. You should be able to throw it on most parts and burn it, but it doesn't always apply. And if you miss, it just makes the tiniest little fire puddle. It's pretty, it's really um, punishing if you're not landing your shots. And even then it's not really working as intended. I think once it does, you'll throw this, it'll stick, it'll burn it down and it'll be great. Um, but for the now, it, it's just not functioning. This little background, uh, I think, Cape is cool. Contrast the uh, the blood and, and and bug guts when it's all on you. I like that. And this is kind of the fire uh, fighter mask with the rebreather that should apply to this. That should have had you know seventy five to ninety percent reduction in flame damage. But that's okay. We'll move on. Uh, this is interesting. You so notice this. It's kind of orange. This is red. This is red, orange. So it's got a weird. This is paired with this. But when you line it up with some of the more red stuff, you'll notice it. It has it. It doesn't quite line up. It, I do like the half capes, so that's pretty cool. Um, big fan of that. Courtly bow. This is the newest thing to come out. It's awesome. Um, it does a hell of a lot of damage. Uh, it's got uh, five rounds in it, and you got to knock it after each fire. So you fire it, knock, fire, knock, fire, knock, five times. And then you drop the mag. You put a new one. You got to knock it again. It's very slow in between, but this does a shit ton of damage. You can two shot chargers in the head. It, it's very versatile. It is taking up your primary, so you got to have something for chaff on the back, maybe stalwart or something or a machine gun. Um, call in just to, to clear it up. But this thing will serve, dude. It, it's good. A lot of people are like, it's way too slow, but I'm telling you, if it was faster, I think it would just, it, it'd be all you'd see. It, it's it's a long reload and, and the knocking does, but once you hit, you're like, damn, this thing just hits like a truck. So keep that in mind, courtly bow, all right? Expert extraction pilot. I'm not a big fan of these. This one in particular lowers the time for extraction shuttle. Um, if you're playing with this or the increased, um, uh, what is it called? Um, resource limit for, for people coming in or how long or decreasing the time in which a new one is allowed to come in. You're kind of banking on the side of loss for this to be beneficial. If you're worried about having enough time to get this in on a mission you might not even get to the end it's a wasted slot so you're only using it at the very end for the most part and i would say outside of like defense missions maybe where you're just getting constantly harassed you're in a slow you know orbit and and things are coming at you all the time you're just trying to get to the 100 percent i've killed all the enemies maybe but this is one of those i really wouldn't buy i just think there are more useful things coming with more ammo coming with more health that applies every single time you drop in rather than wait until the absolute end of the mission for this to take effect it seems cool it's I think this is pretty shit. I don't think you should be running this unless you're you just struggle constantly. And you're like, oh, my God, that's like the fifth time that things taken off or, or, or didn't get there in time. But I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Um, OK, in the third part, we're getting more of the same. It's it's explosion resistance. It's pretty cool. It looks awesome. You got some face coverage here that really I, I found a lot of the helmets don't really apply. This kind of does. But even this doesn't line up. And I'll demonstrate that in a second. Here's the uh, cape. It's kind of got a grayed out skull with that. It looks cool. This is interesting. It, it's got a huge uh, capacity. So while it's five darts or, or what is it, corals or bolts for the crossbow? I think it's bolts. Um, you have like 12 mags. So 12 times five is actually how many of these you get to fire. It's, it's pretty generous. It fires pretty quick. The reload's a little slow. Um, it does blow things. It doesn't close holes. This does. This is explosive. You aim this in, it'll blow a hole. This is also explosive. It does not apply. 
don't understand the logic, it should, um, especially if this is what you're going for. It's kind of like a primary grenade launcher. It seems to pen a little bit. I, you know, it's it's weird. It, it'll go through. You'll see it kill multiple people in, in a row in front of you. So I'm not exactly sure how that works. It's cool. It's got a severe drop. Um, if you're aiming at like Shrieker Ness, um, and I think all the damage and health values are the same at higher difficulties. I think there's just more frequency of bugs and, and other things. So at nine, at least, this takes a shit ton and you got to aim super high up. If it's here, it's like right here you're aiming and it's just boop, boop. Um, I don't know that I've been able to successfully take one down. I, I was hitting it pretty hard and someone else helped me. So maybe it can't even do that. I don't know. And, and the fact that it doesn't close holes leads me to believe that that might be the case. Uh, this is just more SC. This is a background. Uh, you got the boxers, probably the coolest out of all the uh, victory poses. They got, this is awesome. It's very niche, but I don't really use a secondary. You probably don't unless you're getting run up on real quick and you're running out of ammo and you got that, uh, you know, makeshift tech nine. This is good for like closing bug holes. It's good for uh, hitting heavier stuff that's coming at you that maybe your primary can't penetrate. It's really good. You got like eight or nine, I think, in total to launch. And and a lot of the time you'll just be triangulating, kind of getting the height adjustment to get those holes and, and shoot them in. But overall, it's, it's pretty decent. Um, real quick, this is kind of a demonstration of what I mean when uh you're looking at heads to kind of put on this so this is the one that comes with it let's see here let's just track that sucker down right there and it's okay you know you got the visor here but you'll find a lot of stuff doesn't really work too hot with it i mean it, it seems cool in concept but it really you know there's maybe a few you got some visors that come across that's okay you know what? That doesn't even. Um, and outside of like maybe this, which kind of looks cool just coming out of the back. Um, and this is to demonstrate kind of the color of that cape. There isn't too many. I mean, that's kind of no. Yeah. I just, it's a cool concept on the, the armor design. I just, I'm not really sure about, you know, the overall. The cape, it's kind of what I'm talking about with the, uh, let me just get some armor on that isn't so obstructive. So you see the red and orange. This is a very clear difference. Anything red, you know, you're associating with that. It, it's definitely clear off. And this is the, um, this is really where it's supposed to line up. Now, these reds kind of do. You can almost see it's a reddish orange here, but this is very clearly orange. So if you're one of those that cares about kind of matching it up, you're going to have to kind of contend with that. Um, I'm trying to see. So that's, that's the light armor that's attached to that. Let's get the helmet with it so you can get a full, full on. Uh, that's weird that it kept that, huh? Interesting. So that's that one's armor. And then, uh, for the heavy, it's gonna be this. Maybe this, yeah. And that's it, kind of. It does look cool. Um, I wish this was more varied. Overall, um, it's decent. I, I do wish that the, um, I do wish that this had had more like, I don't know, fire and with all the the stratagems that are going towards that now, um, all the explosive stuff. You know, it's it's very clearly meant as like a demo kind of thing. Uh, I, you know, a lot of this is kind of eh. The cosmetics look cool. This is useless. This is okay or good. This is very good. This is useless. A lot of this is just useless kind of chaff. I hate to say it. This isn't terribly good. I probably wouldn't bring this as primary, but once you open it, it's all right. This is very good. I would say this is actually excellent. And then the rest is kind of cosmetic. So it's up to you whether you want to decide if it's worth a thousand. I would say the maybe for the Eruptor, you know, it's, it's worthwhile this. And maybe this, if this is how you hang. But if you don't even use this, you can kind of bounce off of this completely. Um, like I said, there's there's a slight variance, and I would say an efficiency variance for the um, the armor. You know, if you're weighing options and if you're a quick mover, I tend to use light armor. That's that's primarily what I use. Um, this is your your stock standard light. So your 50 armor, 550, 125. There's some variance on some of these. So this one's a little bit heavier armor. This is kind of that in between, which I like. It's, it's giving me my grenades that I love. It's letting my speed regen. It's not quite as fast as this, but it lets you maybe tank a little bit more. It also looks cool. Obviously, you got the grenades on the bandoliers or the, what do you call those, uh, grenade launcher rounds. You got the red and black. It looks really good. Black and red pretty much go with most things. Like I said, that orange, though, kind of conflicts. Um, but down here, this is kind of dis disappointing. You got servo and you got heals, but the rest of these are just, they're all resistance to this i wish there was a little more uh variety in that but we'll have to wait and see but anyways that's the uh, new battle pass and and saving you some time you can you can test in the field but i found that those two weapons out of the battle pass are probably the most worthwhile the other ones are okay uh and the dmr is pretty good 
Um, but you might have better options elsewhere. The crossbow doesn't really work as intended, and the thermite grenade, as far as I can tell, doesn't work for shit. So uh, use your own judgment, but that's what I found. 